Oh baby, it's finally time. We're here to open a booster box of Darkwing Blast. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm really excited because we're going to be opening up a full booster box of the newest core booster set, Darkwing Blast, which just released here in the TCG. And this set is insane. It has meta relevant stuff, collector stuff. You have Black Wings all the way back from like what, 2008, 2009. And then you guys got the Kashtira, you got the Draco Slayer stuff. This set is meta breaking. But just before we get into today's video, make sure if you guys haven't already or you guys don't already know, Untouchables Mississauga is the locals that I always go to. And this box is actually brought to you guys by Untouchables. If you guys want to check out their website, I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, go check out their Instagram. Their Instagram has been really active. So big shout out to Untouchables for providing us with this box. Without them, I wouldn't really have this for you guys. So make sure you guys check them out. That's my second home, basically. And I love those guys. So I'm really excited to be opening this. And lastly, just make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We do product openings, but we do deck profiles, combo videos, all that good stuff. You'll find it here on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned in for all of that. Now, with that being said, I know I've taken up so much of your time. Let's get right into the booster box. Oh, baby, I'm excited. So here it is, a full booster box of Darkwing Blast. I'm so excited to finally get into this. I think this set is insane. There's a lot of things I personally want from the set as well. I do want to build the Blackwing. That's just a more for fun deck, but I do want to build it. I do want to build Draco Slayer, which is probably what I'm going to be playing in the next format. If Electromite comes back, I'm definitely going to be playing that in the, after the next ban list, right? So here we go. We're opening it up. Officially unsealed. Officially unboxed. Also, we could pull a Starlight Rare. I completely forgot to even mention that. But of course, our really cool Starlight Rares. Oh, this box, this artwork on the Blackwing Assault Dragon is just insane. If we do want to pull an Ultra Rare, I think Fenrir is the way to go. But I wouldn't mind pulling one of the Blackwing Assault guys because I do need one for the deck profile anyways. So here we are, 24 booster packs. I think these packs are mappable. So what I'm going to do, so just so we don't hit the secret rare like right away, and then we know where it is going to be on the other side, I'm going to quickly shuffle this up. And this way we have the entire 24 booster packs over here randomized. So we know we're not going to hit like a secret rare and we know where exactly it is on the other side. All right. So our very first pack, as we get through a few packs, I'll go a little bit faster because I'm sure you guys are going to see all the cards in here. So we don't need to go through the commons all every single time. However, for the first few packs, we'll do it slowly. Here we got a... Prediction Princess, Terote, Psychic Rover, Naturia. The Naturia stuff apparently is really good. I don't know exactly how great it is. I'll be honest, I didn't get to test it out myself, but I've been hearing some really good things. And on top of that, it's like, if they end up being good, that could be a really spicy deck. Just because again, like some of the Naturia Synchro Monsters are so broken. we got the Kudo Spirit, Amazonas, Ninjutsu Art, Tilting Entertainment, Branded Beast, another branded support card. Branded has been getting support all over the place, but I guess it's like one of those like, not even fan favorites. I guess it is a fan favorite to a certain extent, but more so it's one of those things that just has a crazy lore behind it. And I don't even know what the whole lore is, but I just know it's still ongoing, which is insane. The fact that it's still going through Darkwing Blast is nuts. We have Amazonist Warchief, Kshatri Ogre. So this is technically the worst Kshatra card. However, it's really cool because there are implications in something like Mermail because it's a level seven water, which is kind of insane, right? Then we have the Ninjutsu Art, the Tri Brigade Showdown, and a super rare Blackwing Bear Storm, the Wicked Wind. I already had one of these. I pulled it at the sneak peek or i picked it off in sneak peek i can't remember if i pulled it but i do have one so you only play one in the deck you wouldn't play more than one of this one so we'll put that to the side let's see if we can pull okay so what do we want for secret words probably spellbook spellbook is one of the better ones i would say we want uh for ultra rares the fenrir like i said we want the black winged assault dragon we want okay we have a we have chinooks so the thing is like i picked up a lot of this at sneak peek which now that i think about it maybe i shouldn't have because we are opening this booster box whatever it doesn't hurt to have extras we also have the kishatra unicorn which is not a bad card it's not as good as fenrir but in kishatra unicorn is a three of so specifically for that deck you need that card i can't even remember this card the set is just so stacked oh we, oh i was just talking about wanting the spellbound oh baby so there is our first secret rare guys i don't know if you guys can see this but the card's kind of dirty Tommy, what is this factory stuff anyways our very first secret rare spellbound i'm excited about that one that is one of the ones we wanted the other one that i just want that i just thought of was the ignis the draco slayer that's what i want but spellbound is an insane card really happy that we pulled this that's a great pull we'll put this to the side for now i'll get to sleep for it don't worry don't worry i'll get to sleep for it so we got 
Scare Claw. Oh, the Scare Claw stuff is also all commons in here, which is kind of nice. I wouldn't mind pulling those. Okay, as we sleeve this up, I do want to say this is a card that I don't think is going to see a lot of play right now. However, I think this card is going to boom later on in the future. Just the fact that it's a D barrier. Yes, it's not maybe as great as D barrier because it only affects the monsters on the board. So if your opponent puts up more monsters, then it doesn't really matter. Unlike D barrier, which just shuts out your opponent's entire turn. But I feel like this card is going to have a lot of implications, specifically because it also mentions Link Summoning, which I think is kind of insane. If we do ever go into a format where Link Summoning is a prime mechanic, like right now, for example, Tier Limits is one of the best decks, which is Fusion Mechanic. So, but this card, eventually, when there is a Link-based format, this card is going to be nuts. We have an Ixie, Kashatri Preparations, Tier Limits Scream, and we got a Goaty Super Rare. Okay, so that's it for that. We are, or I mean, I want to say we are guaranteed, but the ratios are two Secret Rares and four Ultra Rares per box. We haven't pulled an Ultra Rare yet, but again, I mixed these all up, so they could be anywhere, right? But uh, I'm excited. This set is insane, and we already pulled good, in my opinion. Here we have a Shangri-La. Shangri-La is one of the better Super Rares in the set, I would say. Maybe not for right now, but when Kishashri gets their next support, which I think is in Photon Hyper Nova, I think that's the set name. When it gets the next support, the deck is insane. So having this as a super rare right now is really good because it's one of the most important cards. We have a Tear Limits Heartbeat, a Kudo Spirit, Zalamander, and we have a Black Feather Whirlwind. I already have this one, but it is a one of in the deck, which is really nice. Again, if you guys are watching this and opening your own booster box, just one box, you guys can, I guess, see the ratios. Uh, there's one super rare that we are looking for, which is the rank six monsters, a new rank six, which is just insane, especially with the Bisted stuff. Oh, and not to mention the Bisted stuff. I completely forgot about that. If we pull super rares, we want the Bisted stuff. Oh, a Kishatra Unicorn. Okay, I was just talking about this one too. I'm happy with this one. All the Kishatra Unicorns, the Fenrirs, I wouldn't mind pulling those. But again, for the super rares, we want the Bisted stuff as well. I just completely forgot about that. I don't even know how I forgot about that. I think the Bisted stuff is so cool that I just... For some reason, completely forgot to mention it. That, that was weird. We got the Soul Scissors, the Ninja Art, we got the Naturia Mall, we got the Zalamander, and the Branded Re- Oh my god, how many branded cards are in this set? That's insane. So we still got a ton of packs here to go. Don't don't you guys worry. Don't be like, oh, Spanko, your box is kind of slow. It's kind of bad. Remember, we shuffled it, so it could be anywhere, right? Here we have the Simsara Sorrow Cat. Never even heard of that card. Let's go a little bit faster now, all right? Because I don't want to keep you guys here forever. We're, I think I would say, about halfway through the box. Um, I, I expect us to pull something good coming soon because we haven't pulled anything crazy. I mean, we pulled the unicorn, which is nice. Ooh, this is the exact one that I was just talking about. What's it called? The Wallow Founder. Okay, this card is insane. It's basically a quick play DD Crow on your opponent's turn. It shuffles a card back into your opponent's deck. And this card is just so insane with the Bestial cards because it's a rank six. So you can use two Bestial monsters to make this and it's just so powerful. You definitely need one of those if you're playing the Bestial package in your deck because this card is just insane. Just the fact that the Bestial monsters are basically DD Crows, but then you have this, which is another form of a DD Crow. So much graveyard interruption, which is just insane in today's format. We got the Amazon is Pet Liger, Silver Sword, Cucumber Horse, what a, what a card. And we got, ooh, Blackwing, Suri, Suri? Sudri, the Phantom. Yes, I know this is a three of in the deck, uh, so I don't mind pulling that. I won't mind. I don't think I'm going to pull three of them in a single box, but uh, that card is a good card. You definitely need three of them in the Blackwing deck, so not mad with that. I'll eventually get the whole deck finished. Okay, Druid Worm. Okay, I thought this was Magnemite. We need one more Magnemite. But I'll eventually get the whole Blackwing deck finished because I do want to profile it for you guys. Honestly, I may just profile it online like I typically do before I even get the cards because I do want to show you guys that deck. I think the deck is insane, but eventually I'll get the cards, right? We've got Soul Scissors, Spiritualist. Oh, and a Blazing Cartesia as our second Secret Rare. I'm happy. Okay, that's two really good Secret Rares. I would say, I think the best Secret Rare is the Bestial Lubellion, but this is a really, really good card. A lot of Tier Limit decks are actually going to be teching this into their decks. Actually, the most recent deck profile I did, my friend Rishab actually went 4-1 and one at Sneak Peek with Tier Limits featuring this card. I think this card is insane. I am happy to pull this one. That is not a problem for me. All right. So luckily, I will say this. We still have like seven or eight packs. Uh, actually closer maybe to 10 packs here. We still have a good amount of packs. And I will say the nice thing about the set, and I guess any Yu-Gi-Oh set, is Starlights don't take the secret rare slot. So we still have a chance at a Starlight. Are we going to get it? Who knows? But we still have a chance. All right. We got Showdown. We got Amazon. Okay. So we haven't pulled any of the Draco Slayer super rare card. We have, oh, a Valence Awakening solo activation. Maybe not the ultra rare you want to pull, but that's all right. We haven't pulled any of the Draco Slayer stuff, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't think we'll pull an Ignis, but we definitely want the super rare uh, one. I forget the name of all of them. But yeah, we definitely want that. 
If for super rares, we wanted Beastial Magnemut, that would be really nice. I can't even remember this. Just set, this set has just so much things that like could be anything really. Oh, for an Ultra, you know what another good one is? It's that new trap card. I forget the name exactly. I think it's like the room or something. I think it just basically puts everything in face down defense position. So that card I think is really cool. If we, if we pull that as an ultra rare, I wouldn't be mad. We have another, you know, honestly, I just thought about it or cause I think we pulled this earlier, right? You typically don't get two of the same like super per box. Actually, I guess you, I don't know. I don't know. Am I like, I, I haven't gotten the same cards multiple times in one box. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. All right. We got a Zonda and we got a mirror logic aggregator. All right. Okay, we just still got a few more packs. We're hoping to pull one more ultra rare, maybe a starlight rare. But again, if we pull the supers, there are still good supers. We got Magnumut, which is a really good super rare we can pull. We got the Draco Slayer one, which is a really good super rare we can pull. There we go, there we go. I was just talking about it. We got Dynamite Powerload, the Draco Slayer. This is the one, I think it's the three of in the deck. So you definitely want to pull those. I mean, of course, value wise, it's not super expensive. So I know I'll be able to get my hands on it eventually, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where I wouldn't mind pulling either. And then for the last ultra rare, yeah, again, that trap card would be nice, or the Majesty Draco Slayer Ultra would be pretty nice as well. Oh, we got a Bastille. Is it Magna? It is! It is! It's Magna One! Let's go, baby! I know it's just a super rare, but it is the best super rare, in my opinion, in the entire set. It definitely is a card that you need to play three of if you are playing the Bastille stuff. Funny enough, I had two, so I really needed one more, and there we go. Pulling two Bastilles and supers in one box is actually pretty good. Apparently, they're actually kind of hard to pull. I had a friend who opened two boxes. And in two boxes, he pulled like three Bastille cards in terms of the super rares, which is kind of insane, right? If you think about it. Are we going to go for an ultra? Oh, yes, sir. What did I say at the beginning of the video? I said, yo, you know what? I would not mind pulling a black winged assault dragon. And here we go. I'm not mad with that one. That's good. We really needed one for the deck. And now we got the one for the deck. Okay, so I don't think these last two packs have anything unless it's a Starlight Rare. So let's open these last two packs. Hopefully, maybe we pull a Starlight Rare. Very unlikely at this point, but you never know with these packs. You never know. Let's see what we can finish off with. We have a Blackwing Shamal. Okay. All right, if it's not a Starlight Rare, what are we hoping for? I guess it has to be a Super Rare, right? Because this is our very last pack right here. Has to be a Super Rare if it's not a, it's not a Starlight. So probably another Bestial. Um, I don't think there's any other really crazy super rares we want. Maybe we get a three secret box. Maybe we get a four, five ultra box. Who knows? We got a decisive battle. We got, okay, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin it. Let's go Scareclaw, Twinsaw. We got Hunch. Okay, I think this is it though. Bestial Sornier. Okay, there we go. You know what? I'm not mad. I just said if we are not pulling another Starlight, or I mean a Starlight at all, a super rare, a Bestial would be really good. All right, let's do a quick recap. We pulled three Bestial monsters, which is insane. We pulled the Druus Worm, the Magnema, and the Sarnir. We pulled the Wallow, which is really insane as well. All right, all right. Let me, let me give you guys a good like recap right here. But these are really cool. I really wanted these super rares for myself, so it's really good that I actually got to pull them. Same thing with the Dynamite. We got a decent amount of the Blackwing stuff, which is really cool. I think this stuff is all pretty... I think this branded card is actually supposed to be really good. I don't know exactly in what or why or how but I think it is supposed to be pretty good. So there is our super rares. Guys, I am not mad with this box. I think this was a pretty good box. Of course, we pulled the Blackwing Assault Dragon. Very much wanted this card. Very happy to actually have it. You know, funny enough, when I go went to go pick up this booster box from Untouchables for the sponsored video, I actually picked up some of the Blackwing stuff that I was missing while I was there. I didn't pick this up just because I was like, hey, if I'm gonna have a booster box, I might pull it. So here we go. Happy with that one. The Valence one, mm, I'll be honest, not so happy about. But you know what? It's an ultra rare. We did pull. A Sudri. Sudri is a really nice card. Another card that you need three of in the deck. I might just go back to Untouchables right now and pick up the last two that I need. And then lastly, we did pull the one Kashtira Unicorn, which I'm going to hold on to. And I think if you guys pulled this card, I think you guys should hold on to it as well. Then for our Secret Rares, I know I didn't sleeve this one up, but we have the Blazing Cartesia over here and we have the Spellbound. Two very nice Secret Rare cards. I'm not mad at all with this box. I think this was a really good box. Make sure to check out Untouchables because without Untouchables, this would not be happening. So the links are in the description below, both for their Instagram as well as their website. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was a Darkwing Glass booster box opening. Guys, that was a really, really nice booster box. I won't even lie. I'm not even just saying it to hype it up. Pulling a Kishatra Unicorn, pulling the two really good Secret Rares. You're not pulling any Secret Rares that aren't great. Like Spellbound, I think is insane. Cartesia is also going to be a card that could see play in the meta, which is really, really nice. But the super rares, we pulled the Bestials, we pulled the Wallow. I'm very happy. And lastly, we pulled the Black Winged Assault Dragon, which is insanely cool because I'm that much 
closer to building black wins for you guys so i'm really excited thank you guys all for watching make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already where we do product openings like this one where we do deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff right here on the channel again big shout out to untouchables for hooking us up with this box i appreciate them so much make sure you guys check them out that's basically my second home i really love those guys and i want to make sure to share the love with you guys so make sure you guys check them out thank you guys all for watching again with that spanko signing out peace